now finally first no arg will execute will print no arg once this no arg constructor call completed int arg int arg once this int arg completed double arg are getting double arg ida output you are going to get so whenever we are taking test at even is equal to test of 10.5 can you please tell which constructor will be executed sir so first double arg yada part of that int arg yada part of that no arg this is the output we have to get clear right now sir i want to take test the t1 is equal to new test test at t1 is equal to new test of new test a ah, then i am taking test at t1 is equal to new test of 10 then i am taking 10 means uh, which int argument int now this one but at the part of int argument it is going to call no arg that's why what is the answer no arg no arg after completing no arg now int arg no arg followed by int arg like this we are going to get okay sir this is the test t2 now test t3 i am taking new test of new test no argument if i am not passing any argument if i am not passing any argument directly no argument constructor will execute that's why what the answer no argument constructor will come in the picture are getting so a class can contain multiple constructor all these constructors having same name but a different argument types this concept is nothing but overloading overloading concept applicable for constructors okay next uh, whenever you are creating an object the corresponding constructor will be called but from one constructor how to call another constructor of the same class by using this i hope it is a very clear for you people right now let me execute this code have a look once have a look once here see same example sir class test of double yeah the part of double constructor it is calling int int argument constructor yeah the part of int argument constructor it is calling no argument constructor